Hello Donata. Donata, you are a philosophical practitioner, originally from Italy, but you're now living in Vienna in Austria and also working here as a practitioner. Can you tell us a bit about what you are doing as a practitioner? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, um, I, do, I, I do some philosophical counseling, so the classical original way of philosophical practice, uh, but I'm also trying to uh, experiment a bit, uh, for example, in cooperation this summer, I, for example, I will, um, I will uh, do a seminar together with a, a physiotherapist about sense perception, so he will do the exercises on exercises and I will do the philosophical reflection on these exercises. Uh, and sometimes I also I, I also I'm also active in uh, philo uh, philosophy in um, how do you say philo cafes uh, philosophy in coffee houses um, I'm experimenting different forms uh, and uh, it's a kind of I mean <laughs> it's open it's a um, it's a kind of self knowledge together with the, with, the, with the experimentation of different forms of philosophical practice. So you, uh, then you learn uh, with time to, to understand what is the best form for you. So at the moment I would say philosophical counseling is a, the, the form which I, I feel it's a, it's, a, it's a main form for me. Yeah. When you are doing philosophical counseling with uh, one guest, one client, uh, what is a typical topic that the guest is coming with and how do you approach that topic? Ah, there is really no typical topic. I've seen really every possible topic. Um, and, and my approach um, is, is free. This is, uh, this is a bit of a consequence of, of the fact that people come with really very different issues. So it's not like one comes and I have my strategy or my method, but um, uh, perhaps I should uh, give some examples. Um, uh, if a teacher, I had a teacher, for example, for music, she teaches music in the high school, and she wanted to, to, to reflect about the... Uh, relationship between music and conflicts because she was uh, learning some method for dealing with mopping and this was a very interesting issue but it, it was not like the typical existential issue you would come with if you have a kind of crisis in life or like this but I also had a uh, it's, it's difficult because you have to, 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 to tell about cases. It's, it's, I don't feel really comfortable if I say the, the teacher or the manager or the, then they can recognize. But, but of course, if you, if you come with such an issue, it's a different. I have also had an issue like someone who, who, who had a very, very good job and, and, and at some point uh, saw no sense, no meaning anymore in his job. So he quit it and, and now what should I do with my life? And you can, you can start from the question, but uh, for example, in, in another case, I started with a text by Plato. So it's, it's really very different. If we discuss philosophical issues, I, uh, uh, I am in my element, so to say. Yeah? If, if we start to focus on, if we would start to focus on his emotions or how do you feel and, and so on, um, this would, wouldn't really be my element, so to say. I'm very, I would be very cautious here because then we are moving, moving towards a therapeutic uh, direction and I don't, I'm not competent in that. I mean, you understand what I mean? Yeah? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Donata, but what you are competent in to go further to another question is that you are the organizer 
uh, of a postgraduate pro program on philosophical practice at the University of Vienna. Mm -hmm. uh, and you, since about one year, you successfully organized this course, which is, as far as I know, the first course in the German-speaking countries for philosophical practice at a university. Can you tell us a bit more about that? What are the cornerstones uh, of and, and, and the key issues, so to say, of that course, of that program? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, uh, we started last year this kind of experiment um, and, and <laughs> let me say that it's, it's, really, it's really interesting but because I mean, a, a character of, exper of an experiment is that, that you have to deal with some questions in practice. So they are not theoretical questions anymore about what is philosophical practice, uh, how is it related to academic philosophy, um, is it something you can teach, is it something you can learn, what kind of background do you have to, to have and so on, to be a good practitioner. Um, we are dealing now with these questions every day in practice and <laughs> you have already seen yesterday there was a discussion. It's, it's really another kind of, uh, of understanding and of, of, of putting questions if you, if you, are, if you are dealing with, with practice. So we are doing this experiment, um, the, it's not just, uh, not just uh, in the last year, but I started, I think, three years ago with a project. You have, I mean, to, in order to plan something like this, it's, it's not easy. Um, and, the idea, um, and the idea was, um, well, I got my training uh, with Achenbach, Achenbach in philosophical practice, and then uh, after the training, I proposed to my faculty to build up a, a program on philosophical pra practice. Uh, because after, after doing my training by, uh, with Achenbach, uh, I got to know many different forms. So the idea was on the one side uh, to offer something at this academic level also. Um, our students uh, normally have to have studied philosophy in order to start with the program. And on the other side, the idea was um, to, uh, to have a concept of this program that would embrace very different forms of philosophical practice, not just uh, Achenbach's concept, but many uh, other concepts also. And the program lasts two years, and we have, we have some courses uh, about philosophical practice, um, theoretical, historical, and very concrete, uh, business plan and such thing, marketing. Then we have a couple of uh, seminars uh, uh, in which we read text, classical text, philosophical text with the students, and uh, we try to do it in a, in, not in the normal academic scientific ways, uh, but in a way which is fruitful for our practice. And then we have three big issues. <laughs> uh, one is the self, one is the dialogue, and one is society. And we have two or three courses uh, uh, for each of these issues. And then the students have to pursue to, 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 to realize a project as philosophical practitioners uh, and to do some exercise in dialogue. They have a supervisor uh, for, for doing this and, and then at the end there is a, they have to write the results about their projects and their reflections of the project and then there is a final exam examination. If I understand it right, then the, this program is not only about philosophical counseling, but it's, it's kind of broader, which means it, it deals with several aspects of philosophical practice. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell me a bit maybe about uh, the reactions of the students? Do they prefer to do philosophical counseling or are they more interested in doing work with groups? Or what are your impressions about the future developments of philosophical practice here in Austria? Hmm. Uh, 
well, philosophy, philosophical practice in the meanwhile is really much more than philosophical counseling, but philosophical counseling is very interesting for, for, for every student. I mean, this is... It, <laughs> one has to, to be careful always uh, by, uh, while, while talking about philosophical practice, because normally you say philosophical practice and implicitly is philosophical counseling. So they tend to, we all, all tend to identify a bit philosophical practice with counseling. But the interesting fact is that uh, the students then, when they have to, to, to uh, find their, to conceive their project and to do their project, they all, almost all, uh, have a, something else in mind rather than philosophical counseling. They have a kind of preoccupation, I would say, also. Philosophical counseling is something very interesting but also very delicate. Uh, perhaps it is better to start doing other things <laughs> and then if you get, while well, you get some, uh, and more confident then you can you can also do some philosophical counseling. Uh, they they have really very very interesting projects already. Though the the students they are very creative people and and it's it's going really. In which directions are these projects going? Is it more in the field of education or or in which kind of fields? <laughs> it depends. <laughs> It depends what you mean with education, of course. Um, there is a big interest for philosophy with for, uh, doing philosophy with children, um, but also for doing philosophy in coffee houses. Uh, especially, this is interested especially for people who are politically and socially engaged or want to engage in society. Um, but there are also very special, I would say, creative projects about, for example, connect, connecting philosophy with tango or philosophy while philosophy and um, in, in how do you say, um, philosophy and ah, trying wine, wine while drinking wine. Uh, is they are really this is the the reason why I'm so happy. I think that philosophy philosophical practice has a really a great potential on um, and this is very different from academic philosophy. Academic philosophy is very standardized in the meanwhile. It's a kind of setting with precise requirements and standards and so on. Not really I mean, self reflection. The reflection about these standards is normally not very pre present uh, and philosophical practice I think is so exciting precisely because first you have to to create new frameworks I mean you don't have to but you can <laughs> and while you are creating these frameworks or in order to create these frameworks you you have always to pose a question, is it philosophy? Why is it philosophy? Which aspects of philosophy has to do with uh, this framework? Uh, and so on. And this is precisely what the students of this program are doing now. They are trying different things, with philosophy and music, philosophy and wine, philosophy and philos land, and all possible things. And there is always this kind of reflection, is it philosophy, why is it philosophy, and so on. So we can expect a, a kind of a, a great diversity of different directions in the future of philosophical practice, at least here in Austria. Yeah. Let's wait and see. <laughs> Thank you very much for the interview. Thank you.